The Stream 2017, directed by Isaac Rodriguez. Wow, what a unique and interesting film. Uh, I saw it last night on um, on Amazon Prime streaming, and I've, you know, I'm trying to search around for the mo for information on on this movie online, and it's real difficult. There's an IMDb listing for it, but the reviews are are, are not very good at all, and it surprises the hell out of me because. It, it scares the hell out of me. And there's also a lot of movies named The Stream, so it's probably difficult to, I mean, difficult to, it's easy to get lost. Easy for the, a movie named The Stream to get lost in the mix. But this is an interesting movie. It's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a horror film. It's a psychological horror film shot in a very interesting way. The film begins with us going into uh, the apartment of this young woman, Stephanie, whose uh, husband or boyfriend or, or significant other has committed suicide in, in, a, in a very strange and violent manner. And we hear like a little radio broadcast that this is uh, somehow becoming an epidemic. And uh, her friend comes over to uh, comfort uh, this uh, grieving widow, and then very slowly they begin to explore some of the reasons behind uh, the significant other's suicide, and it, as the story develops, leads Stephanie on a path which may lead her straight into what whatever it's it's a creepy spooky scary paranormal uh type of a, of a movie shot in a very interesting way most of the film is shot in a series of uh, uh one one extended takes single takes shot with this very wide lens and some kind of camera stabilizer as we follow the character uh, as this camera kind of dives around around the uh, apartment and i thought immediately it brought up really it looked like terrence malick it really reminded me of terrence malick and and this type of transcendental cinema this that terrence malick has developed since the tree of life and this and these other films that he's made but in the context of a horror film but then also there's other movies like quiet house and other more modern horror movies that are kind of shot with a camera roving around but there's something about this roving camera it's almost like this very Terrence Malick version of Evil Dead. That Evil Dead, like, you feel like you're this kind of entity that's kind of hovering around. It also, also reminded me of Gaspar Noe. You're this entity that's hovering around these characters and swirling. And, and, and technically, I think it's quite, kind of an, um, you know, uh, an interesting kind of technique. It's very unique. Again, it, it, it does kind of call back to some of these other movies, as I said, a little bit of Terrence Malick, a little bit of, you know, like, The Quiet House, that style of film, and, and you know, and some other films that have tried to do the same thing, but there is something to, unique to it, and the, sen the, and the way that this very simple film technique builds this kind of sense of dread and foreboding. The soundtrack of this film, this film takes place in this kind of house, this apartment, it's raining outside and we hear the muffled rains. It's actually kind of quite peaceful and in and, and, and a way, but there's something kind of odd about it. Like there's the outside and then we're on inside and, and there's this kind of separation between the exterior where things are going on in the exterior and things are going on in the interior. And, um, and the, the, the sound design of the film, while well, very simple, it's not a crazy sound mix, is very, there are moments of the film which will scare scare the wits out of you. And it really is scary. Uh, the, 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 the title of the film, The Stream, um, is, uh, is, is it regarding an internet stream, which apparently the, the husband uh, got obsessed with. And of course, with that, you know, you have shades of Japanese horror film, Asian horror film, Pulse, uh, Cairo, uh, The Ring, uh, things like that. 
and I felt the film was going to go down that one path, and I don't know, I'm not going to uh, spoil anything, but I must tell you, the film does not, it goes down, it, it goes down a completely different path, and there's some moments that are really just, it's, it's a good just shock moments, there's not, there's, it's, this film is not really, the, it, this intellectual, it's, just, it's, there's moments of just pure terror, just, I haven't, I haven't had so many good shocks in, in one movie in a while, this movie does deliver the shocks, you know, it's it's uh, shot as I said this this the technique of the and the way that this boom, shots you know uh, really hits me and it's a real it's one of those movies you just sit down and you watch and it just toward the end of the film it does kind of slow down a little bit and then the end the payoff is kind of and uh, it, 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 the payoff is scary though. Um, but a, a good film, and then the whole stream, the this thing, this idea, this man's face, it reminded me hell of a lot of um, uh, Children Shouldn't Play with Dead Things of Ernie. You know, imagine also Zader. Remember Zader, that film uh, Revenge of the Dead, which had like the guy, and there's this video stream of him in the in the grave. There's something oh, I was creepy about that, and uh, the film is just shot simply simply done though it does again the technique and there's a certain point of the film where you just kind of like going huh but it, it there are certain freak out moments in the film very subtle freak out moments there's a a journey to this deserted house in the middle of the woods where we're kind of a pov we're kind of uh but we're not a pov and most of the film feels like it's a pov but a pov of a ghost you know, it's like something after Gaspar Noe, you know, and, and uh, you know, that uh, that film he did with the ghost and hovering above the thing and, and that that stuff. It, it's that kind of feel and that kind of vibe. But again, in, a, in an original way that's just kind of designed to just all these elements put together to just scare the hell out of you. One of those freaky, spooky uh, like almost a Tales from the Crypt, uh, Tales from the Dark Side episode, you know, or, or a Monsters episode, just meant to kind of go, ooh, booga, booga, booga. Great, but a great technique, a great form, and the whole ending of the of the of the thing is is like you're, and it's it, it is definitely a movie to kind of put on, and the very end you can, <laughs> the last fourteen or fifteen minutes. Uh, well, you, you'll have to watch it on. on uh, it's uh, it's it's kind of you're kind of like waiting for something to happen, and I, I'm not gonna. There there is a, a, a rather lengthy after credit sequence, but again, th this film is a film full of surprises. It really surprised me, and that not many people are talking about it, and not and the the reviews are just it it uh, yeah definitely kind of my my faith in imdb reviewers dropped uh, a little bit because the the man this is just a scary spooky ooky movie that's that's uh if you like horror films this is a good it's a good solid movie sparse you know only a couple actors in it the the young actresses the the lead actress i mean she's just uh, really, really good and well, and the, the moments of really quiet dialogue and quiet performance, and you know, towing along, and just uh, I think everything was right. The technique, the the performances, the the dialogue, the soundscape, this very simplistic yet moody soundscape, um, everything well done. So well done. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez, The Stream, uh, a good little spooky film, and uh, the world needs more good little spooky films to discover. On behalf of the motion picture industry, welcome to the world of home video entertainment.